Hello guys, welcome to my podcast. This is Kosha Insight. I uh, hope you guys are safe out there. I hope you had a good week. Uh, today we are going to talk about transitioning from friend zone to bay. And I'm here with Ian. Hello guys. I'm going to represent the female perspective. And Ian will do the male perspective. Uh, we've all been there no matter the gender. You crush on a chick or a guy but they are way out of your league and you wanted a relationship but end up being a friend or a bro or a sis. Ian is going to expound on the types of friend zones. So Ian, go ahead. Uh, thank you, Sharon. Uh, okay, there are different types of friend zones. I'm going to expound on at least six of them. But the first one is the look-alike couple. This is where the victim is used to be a pretend boyfriend. So in this situation, when you na pata na chukua ma selfies, ana kupost, ana kumbia, you kama your mind, you tuka iso but ni pretend to see, see ni ni seek to real. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other type, <coughs> ni the party. Kuna ule boyfriend wa party, whereby uh, when she wants to go out, uh, itabidi ya kuchukue, set you any boyfriend lakini ya kupeleka hapo kama body like bodyguard like eh? as in yani ukwe tu hapo kumkeep safe umrudisha home lakini kama ana trust uh, of course ana trust mm-hmm. because um, ana kufanya umfanye umranizo hela za security mm-hmm. it is okay uh, number three, <coughs> the strategic friend zone this is where the girl is attracted to the guy but she has a guy so she keeps him close until the right time comes so ni kama tu as in ni kama tu uko na gas na jiko ndio mm-hmm. so unatumia gas hadi <laughs> hadi time ita time itaisha ikiisha si unachukua jiko unaanza kuitumia so in this case the guy is the jiko you are just a ni we ni kama tu spare part just in case just in case you see so the fourth uh, the fourth type of friends on is where by the guy has a soft part or a soft spot for the for the chick so uh, when he says them i need a favor text he shows up he's always there for for the chick mm-hmm. you see uh, when the chick runs out of money or is is held up somewhere anataka favor unaona anataka umtumie ka kitu ajisort ndio so hapo unatokea so hapo atakuwa anakuambia thank you so much ni nini nini mm-hmm. i love you so much kitu kayo so when you come boyfriend but when you best unaona unamsaidia tu eh need to arise au kwa hapo kumsaidia so the fifth point i mean or rather the fifth uh, type of friend zone is whereby <coughs> you are a leaning shoulder to the chick mm-hmm. you listen to her so ma blah 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 kio na shida na boyfriend wake anakuja anakuambia as in yani hata kama una yani ule mtu akumwambia sauta do kitu kayo after the end of every everything yenye anakuambia bado tu utakuwa utakuwa hapo so unampea tu mahali unampea tu platform ya kujicomfort na ku feel ako secure bora usitake advantage wa kibreak up ama try it depends so of course you play your cards well you can get something out of that. Yeah, okay. uh, mm. uh, the sixth um, type ni the new guy. This is whereby um, a new guy just shows up. The chick ama kuanga na mabeshta wake wa kitambo nini nini. So <coughs> um, ni kama tu kile ile staff na pigonga transfer so unaona huko shule fulani mm. alafu kuna kanyo kama ameka mm. eh? so <laughs> when the new guy when the new kama so kuna ile vibes za, za kwanza kwanza zile shamra shamra mm. mtu anataka ukue and zin mkue mkue tu na eh, lakini aje kujua vizuri mm. so after some times eh, the the chick realizes that you have a certain behavior that doesn't interest her hapo sasa ndio anaku anaku dump anaenda hivyo uh, so basically those are the major types of friend zones of course there are so many others it's just that we can't exhaust them today but there are so many 
kila mtu anapata a new friend, type of friends on every other time yeah, na eh, ukipata demo mwingine unapata unaweza kuwa friends on kitu kama have you ever been friends on ah uh, yes i've been friends on how did you know that you are friends on well to be honest you need to be extra sensitive or rather keen to realize that mm -hmm. so in a nutshell uh, replies became shorter mm -hmm. and slower mm -hmm. uh, we used to hang out uh, almost all the time mm -hmm. but those two became fewer and fewer mm -hmm. i mean yeah uh -huh. so you don't need to be a genius to actually realize that you have been friend zoned mm -hmm. so it's just something that is it is very obvious so how was your relationship with a chick before you were friend zoned uh, before before i was friend zoned yeah, everything was just normal talks were long and sweet we used to watch movies together go out together uh, we even used to cook together mm -hmm. at my place that is mm -hmm. you can't cook at a girl's place <laughs> you guys yeah. are very strange yeah. uh, for real mm -hmm. so everything was just good i mean really you will be a fool if you didn't shoot your shot that time mm -hmm. and i'm not a fool Okay, so you took the shot. Of course. Uh, and do you really know the reasons why you are friends on? You know, maybe you are this nice guy, you did everything, you made the sacrifices. When going out, you paid for everything, you know. And maybe the, the chick devalued you and unaka poa kwa beshte. So? Actually, that might be the reason. I don't know, but kwewe na kilizako for real to ukiona na kufanya hizi vitu zote sacrifices unaweza kuwa unafikiria i want i just want to be a friend yeah maybe you want something and no you see for us guys um ile kitu ya kwanza tunakujianga haikuangi ni tunataka tu kuwa friends friends mm. unaona so tunakujanga na ile notion ya kuwa i want this chick no, no. Nataka kwe, uh, to be yeah, uh, to build something that can last maybe forever or something. Mm -hmm. no, no. So so after making all those sacrifices, you should also be able to understand that this guy just uh, doesn't want just to be a friend but more than a friend. Yes. Okay, if you make the sacrifices and I don't make the sacrifices, what should you do? Um, should you quit? Or give a little time. No, you see, at this point, I don't care about your sacrifices. You see, mm -hmm. as in, I don't want you to sacrifice anything for me. I'm sacrificing all the stuff for you. Mm -hmm. So it's all about me. Mm -hmm. It's not about you. Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't sacrifice anything. Okay. Yeah. Also, maybe, maybe this chick was way out of your league. Maybe she was this hot. Uh, I'm not saying you're not hot. Uh, maybe no, <laughs> uh, her education was way up there, the social standards were up there, even the physique was up there, you know? Yeah, so you see, uh, the moment I, I, I decide on pursuing someone, mm -hmm. you see? So, the f so you see, uh, the first thing um, maybe that I will have to notice about you mm -hmm. before I even make a move of talking to you or even saying hi mm -hmm. uh, is your standards mm -hmm. you see uh, standards are so evident the, uh, there are those uh, chicks uh, you would you'd really you'd really you'd really really have you really want to have something with her mm -hmm. and um, you'll just notice mm -hmm. so it can't be uh, that she had maybe higher standards than me mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. yeah but you know there are those chicks who are definitely out of your league. Yeah. It I, happens. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. There are those who are out of my league. But you won't approach uh, them? I mean you'll just take a shot. I will approach them when I take uh, when I reach that point or I, when I reach that level. You see, you can't just bite more than you can chew. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No offense, you can find a guy not cutely dressed. You know, the tall, dark, and handsome standard is not met. Definitely that guy will be friends. And you're sure you're not that guy? Uh, to be honest, that's, uh, that statement is too cliche. Mm -hmm. 
because um, of course not everyone will be told that can answer the way you want it. Yeah. Uh, if that was the case, you would actually sit down, mold the man of your dreams, <laughs> you see? So those of us who are short and light skin <laughs> wouldn't have a place to, to run to. So really in short, Missy is that and Nisha Zaliwa and Nimekua. So there's nothing I can change about myself. Mm. Yeah. So definitely that's not the reason. And maybe you know this guy might not have the vibe, you know, you're telling me different things that I do not expect to hear. So maybe you didn't up your game. Uh, for real, my game is so on point. Aww. Yeah, okay, I'm not bragging, that? but you see, mm -hmm. yeah, my game is just good. So, so actually, just to take a girl on a date um, takes a lot of, you know, vibe. You see, mm -hmm. just to get a girl to spend that extra time mm -hmm. that is above just a high. You see, mm -hmm. so. I would say my game is just on point because that alone proves that I had something to tell her and to convince her to go on a date with me. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you guys do not say what you really want in some chick's life. So you end up settling for less. Maybe if you want a relationship, you start with a hookup or friends with benefits because it, it's easy. So what do you think? Yeah. Actually, it's easy to be a friend than to be more than a friend. Mm -hmm. So, in this situation, uh, yeah, so being a friend is way more easier. But um, there's a period of time that you shouldn't, I mean, you shouldn't just overstay in the friend friendship zone. Mm -hmm. uh, that makes you maybe to be a friend forever mm -hmm. and not to be anything more than that. Mm -hmm. So... You should just uh, state what you want, maybe, after a period of time. So, if you meet a girl today, you won't tell her you like her? Uh, Ama, you will just be a friend first? You wait for like three months, then you... No, three months is a lot. Mm -hmm. When I meet you today, mm -hmm. of course, I'll start uh, shooting my pre-shots, you see? Mm -hmm. What are uh, these pre-shots? Uh, the pre-shots are maybe uh, complimenting on how you look. Mm -hmm. Uh, if uh, how it would be if you if I had you in my life, you see, mm -hmm. those are just the first few days. So that will give you a rough idea of what I really want from you. So you are, you are, you are, you want me to assume? N not to assume, but just to deduce from what you from saying? yeah from my intentions. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what did you do after realizing you were friends Um I embraced my position, mm -hmm. and to my surprise, it worked. Mm -hmm. Uh, I did put all my interests um, to have her become my girlfriend aside. Mm -hmm. And to her, I actually was proving to be a gentleman. Mm -hmm. You see, I've given up uh, the, all the, all my intentions and now I just want to be a friend. So meaning the chick will see you, you, you are not serious. I told you no, I pushed away then. You're going away too? No, I'm not going away. I told you my, about my intentions. Uh, and you, for 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 you, you just wanted us to be friends, yes, yes. and I've agreed to your, uh, I've agreed to your, to your proposal, mm -hmm. and I'm now a friend. Mm -hmm. So that's what you wanted. So you, you so went you got back. it. Yeah. So actually, it was game one for me mm -hmm. because what I had in store for her was, was great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, after that, what happened? Uh, so we went. Uh, Went on, we went on that way for a couple of months. Uh, everything became normal again. Mm -hmm. You see, the way we used to be, all the dates. The I mean, charts. yeah, the long charts, mm -hmm. they were there again. Mm -hmm. So until one day, actually the eve to my birthday, mm -hmm. uh, we went to town for lunch. And of course our talks, coffee, all that. Mm -hmm. And then in the evening, uh, we went home as usual, mm -hmm. and I used to 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 walk her to her house because mm -hmm. we, were, we were just close. Mm -hmm. And to my surprise, she told me that uh, no, today we are spending at your place, mm -hmm. and boom, that's how she became my girlfriend. Wow. Yeah. So, okay. mm -hmm.
And uh, can I ask, have you ever friendzoned a chick? Um, I would say no, but then again, I might have unknowingly. Mm -hmm. Because of course, you know, you, you chicks, you don't actually show your signs. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't just know that you have friends on you. If you want something, you just tell me. I love you and something and something. I just want you to be my, my to be my boyfriend. And life goes on. Mm -hmm. But you, 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 you chicks, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. you want us to go an extra mile. You want us to crack codes. You want us to crack blocks and blocks of codes mm -hmm. so that we understand that actually you had a crush on me. You mm -hmm. see? Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Mm -hmm. And what would you advise some guy or some chick who is being friends on out there? Um, I don't have much of an advice because actually I'm not an expert in being friend zone or something. <laughs> but uh, hey, uh, just be att uh, attractive, uh, dress smart, just be cool and play your cards well mm -hmm. and everything will be alright. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> uh, tell us your parting shot. Uh, my parting shot will be just um, to say this, that uh, just be bold enough. Uh, say what you want from the word God. Mm -hmm. uh, don't take a lot of time. Um, beating around the bush mm. yeah just say what you want straight to the point if you want a relationship say you want a relationship if you want friendship just treat it clear mm -hmm. make it clear from the start yeah okay yeah uh thank you Ian, for sharing your side of the story with us and maybe we will invite you next time yeah. and hope you guys will end up with happy ever after yeah, of course. And uh, a girl or a guy out there don't settle for something less. And you have a guy or a chick somewhere who loves you and you friends on them. Uh, thank you guys for listening. And uh, keep the conversation going. My Facebook and Instagram accounts are Kosha Insight. Please follow. YouTube channel, please subscribe to my channel for more episodes. Till next time, be safe out there.